episode of the Shop Essential series, we are featuring these, the Topeak Torque Stick Pro in the two to 10 and the four to 20 Newton meter range. These products are absolutely essential to any good shop or anybody who has any carbon fiber parts on their bike. If you have carbon fiber bars, these are gonna be absolutely essential to actually getting the torque set correctly for your brake levers, for your grips, for your stem, so that you don't prematurely damage or fracture those fibers in it. And the same goes for any other carbon fiber component on the bike, and quite honestly, even a lot of non-carbon fiber components. Having the ability to set and accurately torque is very, very essential. So these I absolutely love. For starters, look at the awesome little kits that they come in. This is so nice to see. So often we see products that come in nice packaging, but then you end up just throwing it in a toolbox. These come in their own nice hard protective cases with latching on it, uh, a cool design print, and even some just general texturing around the outside. They're rugged, they have a full pinned hinge on the back and sort of a uh, industrial design aesthetic. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly why I think these two pieces of equipment are absolutely fantastic. And we're gonna start here with the small one. Taking a look on the inside, we're gonna see very similar options between the two, but we'll start here with the two to 10. We can see up at the top, there is a curated selection of Allen keys, uh, ranging from two and a half to six millimeters. And then we have a curated selection of Torx, and that is ranging from a T15 to a T30. You can also see they flip up and lock down into place really, really nicely. So when you go to use the kit, you can flip this up into its accessible ready position and add and remove the actual pieces. Diving into the pieces, now initially when I saw the pictures, I thought, oh, that's a bit of a missed opportunity because the, there is a distinct matte black and bronze theme going on here. And I saw these bits and I thought, well, you know, maybe they're just uh, kind of a, a cheap selection. However, I was totally wrong, and I'm glad to say that. So on the top, there is nice knurling, which matches the actual uh, torque stick itself. And the reason that knurling is nice is because you see it in automotive all the time because it's comfortable, but it's grippy. It just simply works. On the actual pieces themselves, it's gonna be a bit difficult to see, but there are sizes etched or printed right onto the piece itself. And I think this is just absolutely fantastic so that if you accidentally mix them up, you can reorder them easily. You might have also heard the third benefit. I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet here just for a second. So yes, they are actually magnetic and it's so nice to see, but it doesn't stop there. So if we take a look down at this next piece, this is like a quick thumb screw. So you can take one of your direct bits and attach it into it. So you can just quickly um, take out the slack on a bolt before you need to actually tighten it up. But again, if you listen closely, this is magnetic as well. And gosh, it's the attention to detail that really gets me about this. This is absolutely gorgeous. It keeps with the same knurling um, consistency across the products. So it's really, really nice to see included in the kit. Moreover, if you take this thumb screw, you can also grab this other piece. And I think Topi calls it like a speed extension or something to that effect. Once more, magnetically attaches to the thumb screw, but you can hold this black collar and then just spin to your heart's content. So this allows you to take out the extra slack in a bolt very, very quickly before again, you need to torque it down. It also provides a little bit of extension so that you can reach into a uh, tighter area. So let's say you were working on um, you know, a disc brake uh, uh, Torx screw that you might need to reach in through the actual frame, then this acts as an extension for this thumb screw. And if you've already realized, yes, not only does this add, uh, act as an extension for the thumb screw, but when we pull out the main tool of the kit, the actual torque driver, then once more, magnetic and an extension. So the combinations that you can make with all these pieces is absolutely incredible in my opinion. Someone has really genuinely put a lot of thought and effort into this and it definitely, definitely shows. 
So taking a look at the torque wrench itself, you can see that there's knurling on the body itself, knurling as well as cuts on the bottom of the actual torque wrench itself. On the face of it, you can see where the actual Newton meters is recorded. You can also see that there is a white line with a center and it's sort of giving you a plus and a minus. And then on the back, there's an actual 0 0.5. So if you were to pull this out and rotate in a 360 degree, you would be going down in even increments. However, if you need a 0.5, let's say 4.5 Newton meters, you can lock it in on the back and this will actually be at the uh, 0.5 mark when referenced here on the front. So if you aren't quite sure which you're at, then you look down, you can see, oh, um, the indicator is not at the whole mark, it must be at the 0.5 and sure enough, then we can interpret the actual uh, torque setting on the front. Up here on the top, there's this really nice bronze head, and this is actually what adjusts whether or not you are um, uh, setting torque in the clockwise or counterclockwise position. Now you might be thinking, well, isn't everything clockwise? Not necessarily. So you may have some reverse threading on say like a bottom bracket, uh, crank arm, pedals specifically, so you can actually still torque them down um, in the counterclockwise direction. Returning the torque wrench to the kit, we're now gonna slide this off to the side and take a look at the Topeak Torque Stick Pro 4 through 20. Now, I mentioned earlier that I believe these two kits serve two different purposes. And you can see that the actual selection of bits is much more extensive than the curated selection that we have over here on the two through 10. And this is going to be, in my opinion, more for a full shop situation. So this, for me, will stay at home. And the reason being is that I may just want to adjust my handlebars or something like a, um, a brake lever and then torque it down appropriately so I don't snap my carbon bars. Um, and for those trail side adjustments, this is the kit that I'm going to throw in my bag. Again, if you haven't checked out the Thule 55 liter bike duffel, be sure to check out that video because it's really, really good. Now, taking a look over here, we have the four through 20. So it does have a slightly higher minimum torque setting, but you can see again, there's many more components to it. So we have the speed uh, extension, uh, the, the thumb uh, quick screw, we also see the addition now of an actual ratchet. Now it's going to be difficult to see, but on the actual arm here itself, we have Topeak written. And then if we flip it over on the back, there's the little Topeak logo that are laser engraved. It's that sort of attention to detail that I really like. With that said, I would have actually liked to have seen this in the same matte black anodizing instead of the chrome that we have here. I'm also not uh, a big fan of chrome because it's slippery. And you'll notice down at the bottom, there's ribs instead of the knurling. So this does stick out as a little bit of an inconsistency in this kit. Nevertheless, this would be used in a similar sense of this quick uh, thumb screw where you can just quickly um, bring the slack out of an actual bolt. It is um, a direct, uh, a bi directional, so you can flip the little switch and then uh, you know, adjust or tighten in the other way. But it's worth noting that even though this is small, you can certainly put a lot of torque onto something. So just be forewarned and, uh, and take your time. Once more, we still have um, you know, the magnetic uh, selection of bolt, uh, bits up here. However, we can see that the, uh, the selection now goes all the way up to a 10 millimeter. So the way that I interpret this is that um, if I'm going to be, let's say, um, installing or removing a crank set, and so I'm probably gonna be doing those more in-depth jobs at home, um, and, uh, and I'm gonna need the higher torque requirements. And so to meet those higher torque requirements, we see a very similar torque wrench here. Again, the same knurling on the body, the readout window, a larger um, uh, adjustment handle at the bottom here. And um, I will point out that this one is much uh, more freely moving than the small one. Um, I think perhaps maybe the small one just needs to be uh, worn in a little bit, um, but uh, this is much more easy to adjust, whereas you probably saw there was some sticking here on the small one. Again, with the cross cutting, so consistent across uh, uh, both products, um, it, it's just so nice to see. The same you know, uh, bronze adjustment in terms of the directionality of it and um, you know, the same 0 0.5 increment indication on the back. 
So now I'm gonna do a little demonstration about how the actual torque wrench works and why this is actually a really good example of a torque wrench. So we are going to take out our six millimeter um, Allen key right here. It's going to secure magnetically to the actual tool and we're gonna set it up so that it's going to be torquing in the clockwise direction. What I really like about these and what I would suggest that you pay note and attention to is the actual degree of deflection when it uh, reaches its torque or specified torque limit. Some torque wrenches, as I have used in the past, especially digital ones, though nice, they don't necessarily always give a large range of uh, indication. So sometimes you might skip over it and think, oh geez, did I torque it? Go back and try to torque it more and maybe over torque it. So this, I think, is an excellent, excellent, excellent torque wrench that you're getting in these kits. So you can see here that it has a ratcheting function. And there's the brake. So we know that it's at its appropriate torque level that we've specified down here on the gauge. So the Topi Torque Stick Pro in the two to 10 Newton meter and four to 20 Newton meter are going to have you covered for all of your trail side and home shop requirements for making sure that you have your bike set up and dialed exactly how it's supposed to be. Thank you very much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. For all the people subscribing, liking the video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful, thank you very much. Commenting down below, I actually really do appreciate it. This channel is still not monetized and I don't make anything for my efforts. So that honestly keeps me motivated and trying to produce the best videos that I can. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And we will see you in another one. You take care. Bye for now.